The finely honed edge of a woodsman's axe is deftly used to shave thin layers of wood from a raw log. Others use slicks, chisels, and draw knives, special tools to peel off the heavy bark before the logs can be shaped for use in a building. Before the, the, the Industrial Revolution, people hewed their timbers and logs. For the past 20 years, master timber framer James Mitchell has been teaching the art of traditional log home construction at the Island School of Building Arts on Gabriola Island. ISBA is a school, a private school, that teaches the fundamentals of big wood construction and heavy rock building and uh, the things that we don't cover generally in the mainstream uh, vocational schools. Students come from across Canada and around the world to learn the craft of building by hand using centuries-old techniques with a bit of modern technology mixed in. This is a very much a hands-on how to do, how to build your timber frame house, how to build your log cabin in the forest, and um, just getting more of your sweat equity involved rather than mortgages. James has been active in the log and timber frame industry for almost four decades through work and education, and he has authored several books on the subject. When I was a little kid, I grew up on the coast, and I kicked around seaweed, for example. And it wasn't until I went traveling and I realized that they actually thatched roofs with seaweed in, in the Netherlands. And as I did more traveling, I realized that what the people did around the world with the indigenous materials that they had. And so it just made sense to me. And then during the 70s, it was a very much a back to the land attitude. And back then in the 70s, I was just a, a young fellow in my early 20s. And um, I decided I needed to learn how to build with logs. And it was just a brand new thing. It was kind of a, a joke back then. But I took a course on it and I loved it. At Isba, over the course of only one month, students learn all the phases of log home construction using a method designed by James. Obviously you could learn from books, but by the time you learn from books it's going to take a long time. So it's much easier, I think, to come and get some hands-on experience and learn how to use the tools, how to mark out the joints and just get experience of how to do things and do them properly, like using a chainsaw, how to use a chainsaw properly. I just didn't realise how many things you could do with a chainsaw how to sharpen tools, all these sorts of things are all very necessary. We get to teach the greatest amount of skills in the shortest amount of time. And so it's worked into this modularity of building components as you're seeing right now. We can actually combine these components with any of our timber frame um, building components that we make. Kind of a hybrid style. Graduates earn a skills report and certificate of completion, but they also come away with a sense of achievement knowing they have the ability to build a cabin or a home with their own hands. Yeah, I was pretty nervous at using a chainsaw and cutting the notches, but I'm actually getting used to it and I'm enjoying it. Yeah, yeah I want to take this stuff back, back home and teach others too. And plus, I want to build a home for myself because I'm homeless. I get feedback from a lot of people saying how much that this has changed their lives. The Island School of Building Arts is also involved in housing and educational initiatives with First Nations across Canada, taught by James, and it supports local housing enterprises through donations of project buildings. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Annette Lucas.